Town Hall community, what we are doing is an organization that has a unique plan, different from any other freedom organization in the country today. Uh, and what we are doing is forming people, groups in congressional districts to put pressure on our officials uh, to where there is constitutional freedoms being threatened. We want to organize citizens to stand up, to teach them about the Constitution, the threat, and what they can do about it to put a stop to the constitutional overreach by our government from the president on down to the local official. Because when you have a corrupt government like we do, you can sign all the petitions you want to, and they're not going to listen to it. As long as they have power to ignore you, they're going to ignore you, and that's what they've been doing. We as people stand up, and if we have a majority of the people insisting on this is what it is, and we're not going to abide by your laws, that are unconstitutional, then they're going to stand, stand up and, and uh, take notice. And public pressure does uh, have a, a good effect on things, but it has to be done in the right way for the right purposes uh, with a critical mass of people, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, our plan is to take the people that are corrupting our government out of office and put in people who are going to abide by the Constitution because our former government is the best form that's ever been devised. It was devised by men under the influence of God, and it is here to stay. But we as a people, as Benjamin Franklin said, it's up to us to keep it, and we're not keeping it if we allow people to usurp their authority and do nothing about it. You may not think that it directly affects you right now, but just give it time and it will. The courts are basically political. They are not deciding points of the law, which is evident from even the Supreme Court rulings where you have five, four uh, decisions. Uh, if it's a conservative issue, you have five conservatives, four and four liberals against. If it's a liberal issue, you got the five liberal judges deciding for it. Uh, if it was really a matter of, of law, you would think they would all pretty, much, pretty well agree upon it but their opinions and views are on it. We, the Supreme Court is our final arbiter of issues, constitutional issues. They're, they were not designed to be set up to, to decide on social issues. Justice Ginsburg has uh, even said that she looks at other uh, documents of countries of, and their constitutions to decide law, and that's totally incorrect. That the only thing that they should be looking at is the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution was set up, it's not a really a form of government, it is a set of uh, checks and balances on and principles, constitutional freedom principles, as the checks and balances on the greed of man, and that's the whole purpose, to protect the rights of individuals. And the principles in the Declaration of Independence are also principles that are reflected in the Constitution, but the Constitution uh, is directly tied to our courts and our laws and, uh, and how we govern the affairs of the, of the country. Uh, there's, there's power in numbers and there's power in knowledge and we can provide both. But uh, unfortunately there's going to be some are scared but, but it's just like the emperor with no clothes on. Once the one person points out what's going on then all of a sudden the house of cards begins to fall. And it, that's why we're trying to get a critical mass, because a critical mass can stop. And if somebody begins to be threatened because of standing up, we want to organize people to, to support them so that they don't have to do it by themselves. We want to uh, form what we call constitutional first responders, which is when something happens and that person doesn't have to stand alone, we'll come in, organize people, and we stand with them. If you've got one person against uh, a school or something, it's pretty difficult, but if you suddenly have 300, then they take notice. If they needed some help and if something's going on, but they're afraid to do it something themselves, is to contact townhallcommunity.com and they can send some information via email.